This is a video for the RLC circuits lab, which is part of the electromagnetism course. Um, this is just a quick video to show you the equipment used in the experiment. Um, so hopefully it's clear to you how all the equipment works and what it looks like. Uh, so the setup I've got here is for the first part of the experiment, which is the damped oscillator. Um, and so what we've got is a couple of things. So first we have our frequency generator. And so this is what you're using to output uh, the AC signal that you're gonna use to drive the circuit. So in this case, it's what you're using to charge the circuit and then let it discharge. Uh, in the second part of the experiment, it's what's used to constantly drive the circuit at a given frequency. Um, so in this part, it's fixed. And so at the moment it's set to output a square wave, which you can change by pressing the wave button here. So I can change it between the square wave a triangular wave and a sine wave. Um, and then also it displays here the current frequency it's set to. Uh, so there's two ways you can change the frequency. You can either use this frequency dial here, which you can see will change it by some increment. If you wanted to change which number it's gonna change every time you move the knob, you can press the shift key over here and there are little left and right arrows. Um, and so you can see I can change whether I want it to change the hundreds or the tens or the ones. Um, and then the frequency knob will adjust that one. Um, if I don't feel like doing that, the other thing I can do is just type it in using the numbers. So if I wanna go back to 160 Hertz, I can press 160. And then if I press the shift button, there's Hertz here. Or for example, if I wanna do 160 kilohertz, I do 160, press shift, and then I can do kilohertz. Um, so we'll move that on 160. Okay, um, you can also turn the output on and off with a button here. So sometimes if you're not seeing any signal, it's because your output's not on. And you can also adjust the amplitude of the signal. So how large uh, the voltage is that it's outputting. And so you can see if I change that, what's on the oscilloscope also changes. Um, so that's output here. So it's through a BNC connector. So the inner is where the signal comes out of and the outer is the ground. And they're then connected to these red and black terminals that you can see over here. Um, so we have a couple of different components. There's a diode here. Uh, a resistor box, which has a variable resistance, a capacitor and an inductor. Uh, and finally, an oscilloscope, which is used to actually measure the signal that's coming out. So at the moment, the oscilloscope is connected to the capacitor. Uh, it's important that you have the leads the right way around. So this is the high voltage side of the capacitor. So I have the red lead connected here, the black lead, the ground is the other side. Um, and so you can see at the moment, it's measuring the damped oscillations. Um, when you're doing this experiment, what you're gonna use is the uh, measure cursors, which are on this button over here. Um, and so what this allows you to do, if you pick the right mode, depending on what you're doing, um, is it will give you the position of, um, or the voltage at each position. So it's probably very hard to see on the video, but as you move with the cursor knob over here, it will tell you the voltage and position uh, of each data point. Um, the other thing you're going to be doing in the second part of the experiment is rather than just using a oscilloscope, you're also going to use a, one or a pair of multimeters uh, to measure the voltage or current at different points of the circuit. Um, so that's the setup for part one. Won't show you the setup for part two because the components are exactly the same, um, but hopefully that gives you some understanding of all the different parts of this experiment.